guys what's up welcome back to my youtube channel keto with sammy for today's video i am going to take y'all out and we're going to be getting some to-go options for keto when you don't have time to make breakfast or lunch and you need something quick on the go i have done these in my previous videos i haven't done one in a while so i wanted to go ahead and do one for y'all um i've done burger king wendy's mcdonald's and i believe one more to-go option um but today we are going to be heading to taco bell um there's three keto options at taco bell that you can get that are very low in carbs and very keto friendly there's one breakfast bowl and two lunch options so we're going to be getting all three today and i'm also going to be showing you all some sauces that you can get um, and some things that you do want to avoid on the go at taco bell so we're going to be heading that way and i'm going to show you all what we're going to be getting today Okay, so right now I just put up to Taco Bell and I'm only going to order breakfast because Taco Bell only um, serves breakfast till 11 and then later on during the day we're going to come back and get our two lunch options. So right now I'm going to get two breakfast bowls and a couple keto friendly sauces. Um, I'm going to get one for me and one for my husband. Hi, can I have two mini skillet bowls but can you replace the potatoes with steak? Okay, would you like a steak? Uh, no potatoes, have a steak? Yeah. Okay, something Just, else for you? Um, both of them, please. Okay, anything else for you? And then can I have a creamy jalapeno sauce on the side and a chipotle creamy sauce, please? Okay, something else for you? Um, no, that's it. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. All right guys, so I got my mini skillet bowl or breakfast option. I know the lighting isn't that great. It's a very gloomy day in here in Houston, but it's okay. So you get your, I got two of them. I got one for my husband and one for me. And these weren't even expensive. So a mini skillet bowl, you have to order the mini skillet bowl and you say no potato. You can add any meat of your choice. I added steak cause I like the steak from here. So I just replaced the potato with steak and there's bacon i believe sausage as others options so you just order mini scallop bowl no potato add steak and it was literally only like three dollars and a couple cents so it's very cheap um you could add extra cheese i got a side of guacamole and a side of sour cream for about 50 cents each um to up my fat and just to add um, a couple more ingredients in so overall this is a very cheap uh, option for on the go for breakfast so they just give you a little sour cream. Um, oh, this is the cheese sauce that it comes with. No, this is the chipotle sauce, sorry. Um, I did order a side of creamy chipotle sauce. This is a great um, sauce option that you can also get. And this is the guacamole just to up your fat for your bowl. And these are the little bowls. These are the mini skillet bowls. They are very tiny, but this is a great option if you just want something quick before work or before school. So it comes with pico. If you don't like pico, you can just take that out. It has tomato, um, cilantro, and it has the egg. So it comes with pico, it has the egg, and at the bottom, um, it does have the meat. So if you don't like pico, you can just take that out. You can add extra cheese if you'd like. But we're going to go ahead and add our toppings and give it a try for y'all. So I'm just going to put a little bit of sour cream. Sour cream is a great fat on keto. And I also will list all the other um, options of sauces that you can have and toppings down in the description below. Of course, you can have like their hot sauces, the fire sauce, Diablo is my favorite. You can have those. Those are um, keto friendly. I'm going to add some guacamole and the um, chipotle creamy sauce just to give it a little kick. And you just mix it all up. And we're going to give this a try. So you have your pieces of steak at the bottom with, this one does come with nacho cheese. I believe you can replace it with shredded cheese if you do not like the nacho cheese. Mm. Wow. This is really good. Like I've never had Taco Bell breakfast. I, I never really realized that they serve breakfast, but man, this is really good. I would definitely get this 
um, on the go if I really do need it. And it's a great size um, just for something quick. But this is really good. You don't even need the potatoes. You really don't. Um, the steak replaces that. It's perfect. So this is awesome. So we're going to come back in a couple. Um, it's only 9 in the morning. So um, Taco Bell starts serving you know, at 11. Um, their breakfast ends. So we're going to come back around 11, around lunchtime. I'm going to show you all two options for that. All right, guys. So it is officially lunchtime. So we're going to be pulling up to Taco Bell and ordering our two lunch options. We're gonna talk about what can I get for you today? Hi, can I have a power bowl, but okay. with but with no rice and no beans? Can you add extra lettuce? Okay. And then can you add the jalapenos? Okay, what else for you today? And then can I have a fiesta taco salad, but with no beans, no rice, and can you put it in a bowl? Okay. And the no taco strips. And then can you just add the fresco with the jalapeno sauce? You want, you want it fresco with the jalapeno sauce? Yes, and then a side of guacamole. Will that be all for you today? Yes. I think it'll be $13.42. Thank you. Okay, so we got our two lunch options and it was only $13. Um, one of them's a salad and one of them is called a power bowl. And all you do is just take out the rice and beans um, from both of them and some tortilla strips so i'll go in more in depth with y'all in a little bit and then i just added a side of guacamole and of course you can get like your salsa and make it fresco and add some sour cream if you'd like to up your fat Hi, Hi. thank you Okay, so I got our orders. I got two lunch lunch options, and the first one is called um, a power bowl. It has grilled chicken, and when you order it, you want to um, say no rice, no beans, um, and you could add jalapenos and you can add extra lettuce. That bowl was only five nineteen, and for the extra jalapenos, it was only thirty five cents. So it's really cheap. The second one is a beef taco salad. So you ask for no beans, no rice, and no red strips because they do come with like tortilla strips. So just say none of that. Um, and I added their creamy jalapeno sauce. And it was only $5.49 and $0.60 cents extra for the jalapeno sauce and $0.60 cents extra for a side of guacamole. So I only paid $13.40. So these are really great options for on the go. And I'm going to show you all what the inside of the bowls look like. So you got your stuff and I did just get a side of Diablo sauce. You can get fire, you can get any of their hot sauces. So this, the first one is the salad, the beef taco salad. So it comes like this in your container. Oh, and I did add the fresco. So fresco is like pico. It just has like tomato, cilantro, and onions just like we had in the breakfast. I added the creamy jalapeno sauce. If you do not like that, you can just add some ranch for fat. I added um, extra lettuce and it does come with like the beef as the meat, like the beef that you get in the tacos. And then our second one is a power bowl. These are really good. Just say no rice and no beans. You could add extra whatever you want. So the power bowl, no rice, no beans. And it does come with grilled chicken. Um, I, I did add some jalapenos just for some spice. It comes with the pico the sour cream the wok and the extra lettuce just to make it more full for you so it's not you know so we're just gonna give this a try this is really good I do like both of them and um, this one comes with like a little bit more sides um, with the sour cream already in the wok but you can also always add those to the other one. So you have your beef option. You have your chicken option. These are really good. And they're really cheap. Taco Bell has really good options if that's what you have nearby. So I hope y'all enjoy this video. I am going to link all the sauces that you can have. Um, 
the net carbs and all that down in the description below but I hope you all enjoy this video and if whatever y'all want to see next if I have it around my area I will gladly do so for y'all's keto fast food to go options please like share and don't forget to hit that subscribe button I'll see y'all in my next video Thank you.